70% of you in here have little knickknacks on your bodies. Why? Because Polynesian people have this deep thing within their bodies, within their hearts, that make them go like this. You fellas know the one, wrap the little needle around with a bit of cotton in. While you're at the back of the class, while the teacher's waffling on it. Hey. <laughs> love, hate, don, I love. And then when you get up here, you found out that you're no longer in love with Don, so you're trying to cross his name out. All right. That's a reaction to something very old. It's called moko. And it'll be your friend until the day you die. And my belief is that one day it will become commonplace for every one of us, just as it had been in the old days. I'd like to see it sitting there where it should be, with Fakairo and all the rest of our art form. That's where it belongs. It has the ability to move as an art form. It's doing that at the moment. It's on the move. And as long as we make sure that we're on board with what it's doing, it'll take us to where it can be looked upon with, with integrity and with pride. Well, one, one last thing from our from our farmer, Toy <coughs> Hokura. Is that uh, Olu, one of the carvers on our course? We worked out an idea with Sandy. Is that he's been through a fair bit of mama and pain. So Luke carved him a thong. <coughs> and then inside the thong are some needles, the first needles that we use with the ta. Uh, so he can wear that for the rest of his life <coughs> and pass it on to his issue and they know those little things in there did the damage on his legs. <laughs> Tell me get my to go Look to the past for all your guidelines and that, and then turn the front of your waka that way and keep going. Yeah, you can hit some rough seas. People can tell you off. I had that happen to me. Damn right. What do you think you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, if you're true to being what you believe you are, like I'd like to think that I'm a Māori artist that does not a bad job, then I've got the opportunity here to, to help with this thing called Māori tanga and try and revive something which may get as close as we can to traditional Māori moho.